Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Um, naturally, we are going to tackle the next objective in this video, and we're going to find all the solutions. However, we have to figure out which objective this is. Um, right now, I'm just running around, getting in some tea, and uh, oh, it looked like that mime was feeling up some invisible boobs. This is very inappropriate. Damn you, Tim Schafer, for making such a such a crude and vulgar game. How dare you, sir? Okay, anyways. We're going downstairs. We're gonna go and find the next objective. And this one... Yes. This one is open the gate. Because it's closed. And we want to open it. Because there's an ambassador... Trapped in there. Is that Aunt Jemima? I want some pancakes and maple syrup. With some brown sugar. Maybe a little stick of butter on there and melt it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I took his picture. <laughs> we have to get that guy out of the ring. Because he can help us open this gate as you'll see but uh what do we challenge a big man with the ring of the bell well of course of course we have to ring the bell uh which means we have to get and this guy the northern kiss is like a headbutt that's what the northern kiss is i mean it's not it's not like an eskimo kiss where you just wiggle your noses and look what look what mr Mr. Gun Arms, Mr. Super Baldy, he gives you a wedgie. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why I decided to go in here. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna come back to that guy though. Because obviously I was drunk off my ass when I played this. And my attention span was non existent. So that guy, this is a different solution we're doing, because we didn't complete the other one. He opens that uh, little hand waver thing, and then you need the guy that gives a firm handshake so he can shake it. Shake and bake. And so that that's one of the solutions. That ambassador Aunt Jemima can now go and vote and say that child labor is wrong. Oh, you can see the scales are starting to balance out a little more. Okay, shaking up. So we've got two more solutions to find. Um, okay. <clears throat> what we're doing... Okay, I gotta find somebody. Yes, we can get inside teapot. We're gonna go upstairs because there's another solution up here. Look at this fancy lady. She is obviously unique. And I just have a feeling. Do you guys have, do you got that feeling in the pit of your gut? You're just like, oh yeah, this is gonna work. I just know it. Um, here's another unique character. Thad. He cries. It's good for nothing, baby. Anyways, I just had to get him because I knew he was unique. And now we can continue on with this other solution. So, get inside this big old lady. And she's got a f feathers. And you know what feathers do? They attract peacocks. Flutter, flutter. Whoa! And flies down. And now we can get in it and we can fly on up to its nest. Um. Okay, here we go. But first, you know, I'm debating. You're like, why aren't you jumping down? Well, for some reason, I thought I remembered needing to get a maintenance dude inside <sighs> of the peacock. But then I remembered that uh, there's one in there. But of course, I wanted to make sure first. Measure twice, cut once. It's very important. Actually, my dad is uh, renovating the basement in his house. 
And uh, last weekend, one of my brothers and myself were helping him put up some drywall and and stuff. Uh, but we had to do some, some woodwork in certain areas so that we could actually put the drywall up. It was exciting. Can't wait. Can't wait to, to finish it. And throw down some carpet. And you put the ceiling up. And then you've got yourself a uh, basement. And then I think uh, even a bar is going to go in there, which is great. It's fantastic. We already got a pool table, big screen, all that other jazz. It's going to be party in the USA. Okay, there's a solution. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's the second, second one we have. One left, which is the original one we were doing. So, uh, that's the whole yank up. I already know how to do this. I just, we didn't finish it last time. You get him out of the ring, and then you gotta get inside him. Okay? That's what you do to all boxers. You get him out of the ring, and then you just have sex with them. That, it's common sense, you know? It's their reward. Even if they lose. Because then now, now it's just like got to do it because they feel so bad they need to feel something else you know okay get out of the ring buddy ah no my plaid pants okay but of course he stays outside there for a little while then we get inside him Cromwell the terrible and he has a hijinks which is giving people wedgies I used to get wedgies sometimes from my brothers. They're unpleasant. That's why I started pre-cutting them so that they tear easier. It's uh, you don't wedgies aren't good. Of course, we can't give wedgies to kids and women, which I think is baloney. Women are great targets for wedgies, especially when they wear their skimpy underwear. You know, you, you wear your fancy lacy thongs or whatever that stuff is. It just gets right up in there. That's... It's, it's not good. Alright, one more. I want to do it to this lady so bad. Hmm. Nobody asked you to wrestle her. Okay, and look it. He's got golden underwear on his head. Probably, oh, I'm so sorry, I keep yawning. Probably the best uh, golden item that I've come across. Golden underwear on your head. Nobody's going to mess with you if you do that. So now, this big mamma jamma guard, we can get inside him. And he's another unique character. Fancy that. Oh yeah, he's the gatekeeper. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Come back, next one we're gonna do a whole new objective and you're gonna love it. Cause I love you. Bye.